How's it going, folks? I warn you, I'm a tad inebriated, but I'm going to try to make sense of Section 33 of the DNC and chime in if I got anything wrong. I'm sure, I will. Revelation. Kevin Drew. Joseph Smith, the prophet. To Ezra Thayer. Thayer. Ezra Thayer. And Northrop's Northrop Suite at Fayette, New York. He's getting new people in. Ezra Thayer and Northrop Suite at Fayette, New York. October 1830. In recording this revelation, the prophet averes that the Lord is ever ready to instruct such as diligently seek in faith. The corrupted state of the world declared, call for laborers in the ministry bringing forth the church from the wilderness and its establishment by the Lord. Commission of elders to proclaim repentance and baptism. Eminence of the Lord's coming. One, behold, I say unto you, my servant Ezra and Northrop, Open ye your ears and hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, whose voice is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, unless it's a dull one. Then it's sharper than that one. <laughs> to the dividing asunder of the joints and marrow, soul and spirit. You mean the soul is the spirit? Wait, soul and spirit, you divide the two from one from the other? Isn't a soul the, a spirit and a spirit the soul? I, I don't get it. Am I wrong? I probably am. I'm wrong about some nonsense. <laughs> soul and spirit dividing them. And is a discurder of thoughts and intentions of the heart. Two. For verily, verily, I drink the double verilies. I say unto you that ye are called to lift up your voices as with the sound of a trump to declare my gospel unto the crooked and perverse generation which can pretty much describe every generation and future generations if there are any and I imagine there will be. Three. For behold, the field is white. All ready to harvest. This is a stump speech. He's repeating himself. At least it's not on gold. It's on fool's cap. Which is far more appropriate when you think about it. And it is the eleventh hour. Oh, shit. And the last time that I shall call laborers into my vineyard. For, and my vineyard has become corrupted. For wit, uh, oh wait, uh, corrupted every wit. And there is none which doeth good. Save it, be a few. That's generous. Very white of you, Moroni. 
and they err in many instances because of priestcrafts, all having corrupt minds. Five, and verily, verily, I drink unto you. Mother's milk. Not really. I say unto you that this church have I established and called forth out of the wilderness. Six. And even so will I gather mine elect from the four quarters of the earth even as many as will believe in me and hearken unto my voice. Seven, but first, And anybody else? I say unto you that the field is white, all ready to harvest. Yeah, they said that on the last page, didn't they? Wherefore, rust in your sickle. And reap with all your might and strength, which are apparently two different things. Eight, open your mouths and they shall be filled. Do I have to close my eyes while I'm doing it? I'm not that bold. Open your mouths and they shall be filled. And you shall become even as Nephi of old. Oh, goody. Who journeyed from Jerusalem in the wilderness? He liked to get, well, he tended to get tie up, tied up a lot, you know? They're always tying him up. And different results each time. <laughs> yeah, by all means, read it. Anybody, by all means, especially you Mormons, put on your thinking caps and read it. All right. Nine, yay. Open your mouths and spare not. And you shall be laden with sheaves upon your backs. For lo, I am with you. Man, this sounds like a scary prison shower scene to me. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know, I'm tipsy. That's what it is. <laughs> Ten. Yay. Open your mouths, and they shall be filled, saying, Repent, repent. And prepare ye the way of the Lord, and make his path straight, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Eleven. Yea, repent and be baptized. 
every one of you, even the Scientologists and the Muslims and the Buddhists, all of you need a good dunking. Ugh. Lost my place, sorry. <laughs> Every one of you, for a remission of your sins, yea, be baptized even by water. And then cometh the baptism of fire and of the Holy Ghost. Twelve. Behold, verily, verily, I say unto you, this is my gospel. Needs a paint job, doesn't it? Not quite as shiny. <sighs> and remember that they shall have faith in me, or they can in no wise be saved. 13. And upon this rock I will build my church. Yay. Upon this rock ye are built, and if ye continue, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. That's pretty persuasive, isn't it? I guess. Fourteen, and ye shall remember the church articles and covenants to keep them. Fifteen, and whoso having faith, you shall confirm in my church by the laying on of the hands. Yeah, I've seen that. It's twisted. They even poured a cap full of vegetable oil on the crown of my sister's head. Asked if I wanted some, and I said, no, that's all right. I'll wait for the second course. <laughs> yeah. And I will bestow the gift of the Holy Ghost upon me. So somebody's got to, like, lay their hands on you to give it to you? Okay. That was cool. Fifteen. Um, no, wait, fourteen. Fourteen. And ye shall remember the church articles and covenants to keep them. And find them right here. You dig. It's mostly a bunch of fucking rambling. But important and fancy rambling. I mean, it sounds like, you know, almost sounds like the KJV. <sighs> Alright. 16. And the Book of Mormon, and the Holy Scriptures, uh, over there, a bunch of them. Uh, totally lost my mind. God damn it. Okay. And the Holy Scriptures are given of me for your instruction. And the power of my spirit quickeneth all things. Isn't quickening like magic? Yeah. Quickening, quicketh, quickeneth. Well, hurry up already. 
I know a day is a, th is a thousand years, and they got threes. That means we gotta wait another thousand years? This sucks! Get it over with already. It's kinda of pointless. Alright. And, the, yeah, quick and uh, 17! We're gonna make it. We're gonna get through this. 17. Wherefore, be faithful. Praying. Praying always. Having your lamps trimmed and burning. Because they didn't know about electricity in 18 fucking 30. And oil with you. That you may be ready at the coming of the bridegroom. 18. For behold, verily, verily, I say unto you that I come quickly, even so, a fucking man. All right, I helped out a little bit there. Uh, that's it for 33. I'm going to do 34, but I'm going to do it in a separate video just to break this up and make referencing easy for the scholarly viewer out there. But if you've had enough, and I understand, and if you've had too much, I can definitely concur. I'm just so OCD, got to do this. All I got to say to you is peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful Whatever the fuck it is you're having, I'm not pushy about that. Whatever it is, your choice. Have a wonderful one. Bye, or stay tuned.